Florida Republican. Go ahead, Michael. Yes, hi. I've been a Republican most of my life. And so, you know, I, I'm going to quote Biden here. He said, words matter. If we go for insurrection, it will be a disaster for both parties because we are right now, well, let me get back to words matter. Um, we all know what we've heard herd immunity. We hear it daily. For the, we're bombarded by it. But when you add the word natural, and sometimes people use both words interchangeably, they're not. Natural herd immunity means you let uh, usually an animal uh, experience the disease until uh, a certain number die. When you apply that to humans as public policy, it is the textbook dictionary definition of genocide. We're experiencing right now the first 21st century genocide. And we are all blind to it because we're all implicit. We don't, because we don't have to admit, yeah, we just sat here and watched it happen and did nothing. And that doesn't jive with us. We all know we're good on both sides. You know, we're patriots on both sides. And, but the real thing is sitting right in front of us. We need that second impeachment article to address this because it's a trial we forget everyone's looking for the quick fast easy thing uh, no it's supposed to be a trial and we have more facts where we show that they're promoting even when they misspeak and shorten it to pigeon english you know herd immunity in, in contextually and everything else they're literally you know we have video of people and, and emails where they're promoting natural herd immunity as public policy they're still doing it here in florida we have our teachers being forced who are sick who have pre-existing conditions Check michael who out. would that article uh, who, who would that charge be against well you know, uh, you know it's such a genocide i think it should be a general thing it's crimes against humanity okay because there's all nicholas Sanders, let me ask you what is congress working on this week or in the coming weeks in response to the pandemic. Right, so the observation I would make about this is the, the House chose to have a, a very narrow case around this insurrection because they thought it was, um, you know, the, the kind of cleanest and more, most for, forceful case they could make that might win Republican support. Um, but the concerns that are being raised by this caller, I think, are on um, President Biden's mind. It's why he, uh, has been very reticent to embrace the trial. He's tried to keep himself out of it and make clear that what he is focused on above all else uh, is the coronavirus crisis. He continues to kill upwards of 3,000 Americans on average a day. Um, and so uh, he's been rolling out a series of executive orders, um, putting in place uh, new mandates or health responses. Uh, and he's pushing Congress to start moving quickly, including during this um, reprieve before the trial begins to start moving uh, a nearly you know, $2 trillion um, economic and health relief bill that includes money for vaccine distribution, uh, money for states, for Americans who are struggling uh, as the economy suffers because of the virus. So that is um, his leading priority, and there are some important decisions that he's going to have to take uh, in the